Good morning and happy Monday. I love Monday. I know I say that all the time, but I really, really do. I woke up literally refreshed, just happy. Ha. Huh. Anyway, I didn't get to work out though, but I feel like I'm gonna, not I feel like, I'm gonna try to get a workout in tonight. Um, I've been really enjoying, um, what is it called? VR, VR, the, um, I can't even think of the name, right here. I've been really enjoying it, Tony has one, and it actually has like different um, games that you can, that help you work out. And I've been literally, I've been, for a while now, I've been looking for ways to make working out more enjoyable for some reason like I just I've gotten bored with working out at the gym so I've been telling myself that I want to start joining like different like classes and stuff but until then I'm sorry Ooh. <laughs> until then I've been looking for different ways that I can work out at home that's just enjoyable and fun and I think I think I think I found it I really love it it's really fun it you guys if you have one let me look up the name <laughs> it's literally in my head and I just can't VR headset. Oculus. 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 The Oculus is what it's called. But um, ever since he got it, I, uh, I've really been enjoying it. And I mean, he uses it for a lot of things, but I'm just literally using it for working out and I love it. So anyway, if you have Oculus, definitely check out their like different workout games for the most part. Most of them are free. But of course, if you want like actual working out like extensive working out i think you can definitely i think if you pay like a small fee you'll be able to do that too so anywho look at me promoting this company <laughs> it's just really good and i really love it so today i'm trying to see where i can put you guys so when i sit down you're not like low let's see you guys like this put you... ah i have so many things on my table so many projects i'm working on here we go let me put you guys okay yay okay anyway by the way y'all seen this sweater before i still really love it i think i got it from goodwill like two years ago and it's still like one of my favorite sweaters to wear um i usually wear it when i don't have anything to wear or i don't have an idea of what i want to wear and i'm like oh this is kind of like looks like i'm put together so anyway i love it um so today my goal is to outside of like work stuff um i actually have to talk with shanita today because we have to excuse me, start scheduling all the like new newsletters, but I do want to finish finding accessories for my powder room downstairs. I want to show you guys what it looks like. Um, it's probably looked like this for about two months now, what it is right now, but there's a few more touches I needed to, I need to add to it for it to be completed. <sighs> my goal is to complete projects in this house. I feel like I get to like 70% and then I stop because, you know, just other things happen and I just, don't have the mental capacity to get back to it but anyway i told myself that i would finish so today i'm going to go to salvation army and i'm going to see if i can find a large wall art of some sort um i'm going to show you guys two that i found about two weeks ago that i'm absolutely obsessed with i can't believe first of all that i even found them so hopefully i can find another large one like that i actually am going to the salvation army that i got those two from um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I find something. Um, I also want to start working on, so I'm going to be changing out the Rescue My Space logo. I know, she's changing. She's upgraded a bit. So I'm going to change this out. Um, I'm going to change her to, um, actually, if I do bring in another form of that, I'm going to place it in front of me and it's going to have the whole Rescue My Space um, wording on the wall or written out so it's going to be on that wall and I also want to like paint the wall like a blue color let me just show you guys <laughs> so the goal is to basically take another rendition of this like a the new one the new logo put it on this wall take those three out because they're, they're a bit too modern for this space or the space that I'm trying to create so I'm going to paint this wall blue this is quite too baby blue I want like a gray blue and then add the new metal logo up there so anyway <laughs> oh come on okay so yeah that's the goal i feel like it's a little bit dark in here let me move it up a little okay yeah that that's the goal for this space but then again i'm like kind of um trying to figure out if i want to stick with 
transforming this space or waiting until I move into a new office, which is my goal this year. Hopefully by the end of, or midsummer, I'll be moving, or even earlier, I'll be moving into a, a location that's outside of my home. I need, I, it's hard for me to focus in my home, even though I have my own office in my home. So um, for a long time, I've been wanting to take it outside, you know, just take it out of the house and then um, just work from there. And then of course have rescue my space, I'm gonna say people, but employees or contractors come in and we can work on projects. So that's the goal. I also wanna be able to like film there and have like workshops and seminars there. You know, just make it a, a, a fully functioning space. That's the goal. So hopefully it happens this year. I'm gonna speak it, it's gonna happen this year. Um, so yeah, anyway, <laughs> anyway. Um, so my goal, so let's say I do change everything out. I do want to add some new images. So not, not this, but I love the frame. I am obsessed with going to the thrift store and finding like antique vintage type of frames. Um, I'm of course all about changing the picture because what am I going to do with this? <laughs> but look at the frame. Look how beautiful and detailed this frame is so beautiful i actually bought five of these they're only 4.99 4.99 and i was looking at other frames on etsy because they have a lot of vintage frames and those were going for like 75 and i almost purchased one but i was like you know what let me just go check you know salvation army or goot and goodwill to see if they have any options and they do um so i got these from goodwill and then i have my large ones that i'm going to show you i got those from salvation army so I'm going to take you guys along with me as I go to Salvation Army. Hopefully I can find it. Hopefully I can find something at this location. There's another location that's really far from me and I don't feel like driving there, to be honest. But if I have to, I might, I might. But anyway, so my goal is to, and I've already removed one of them. So my goal is to remove the picture, of course, and then I want this part, the, the, the second mat, to be black. So I took one apart and I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. Oh, that's over here. Um, and this is what it looks like basically. Uh, so I'm not going to keep the picture, which has this message behind it. I'm almost like, is this, is this, um, the original? It feels like the original like image. No, it's a painting. It's not, it's not. Anyway, so this is what I removed and it was actually painted red. So my goal is to paint them black. I was gonna buy a completely new mat for all three, but I'm just gonna paint them. I have some, um, some paint, some black paint, and then I'll put it together with the new images. So I've been trying to figure out what I want to be displayed in my office. I'm always going back and forth, guys. Just even images in my house. It's so hard to find a good image for me um, because outside of them being like, I don't know, there's just something I'm always looking for and I feel like I can never find it. So I've been looking on Etsy and I found these two beautiful images. I love the idea of like vintage images and antique looking images. So <laughs> images, images, images. So I found this, uh, this Etsy shop called heirloom print shop and they actually print out the actual art and then they ship it to you so they can print it out on like archival is that what they call it nope yeah smooth archival or text textured premium paper so I am going to most likely have them printed out on textured premium paper because it just looks so so nice but I'm going to show you guys what it looks like I don't know if you can really see I mean you can always go to their Etsy shop yourself but I like this one the best and it's not $12.99 I think I need an 8 by 10 and I want the textured premium so it's gonna be $17.99 for this image uh, if you don't know I love love flowers botanicals gardening leaves all that great stuff I'm gonna be actually starting a garden soon so I thought this was a gorgeous a gorgeous drawing to bring into my office and I actually have them in my um, in my cart and then I saw this one as well I love green I love trees I'm obsessed with trees so I was like what if I bring this one in too and it's also I think gonna be $17.99 as well 
texture premium. Yeah, they also can do it in rolled canvas, which may look also really good too. So yeah, they, again, they print it out. They print it out so you don't go to like Staples. You go to them and look how beautiful, look at the difference. Come on girl, it's so orange in here. Ugh. So anyway, I'm thinking of buying those two and then having them sit right there. So one will sit horizontal, the other one will sit vertical. Knowing me, I like things to look the same, but I'm trying to add warmth and coziness to my space. And when you like change up like the, uh, the sizes of things, I feel like it does add to the coziness and warm feel. I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna get rid of those. So I originally got the art that's there because it was, you know, it's like black, white, and gray, and those still are my colors, but I want, I like the idea of adding like warmth, kind of like how I did up here. Let me see, bam, with those bins. Like it just completely changes up the space in my office, which, which I love, which I love. So, whoo, that's a lot that I just said. By the way, also I'm gonna show you guys. So I'm, so on another note, I am in the process of creating or having my own perfume collection. Not, not, not like, okay. <laughs> I'm starting a perfume collection. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm not making my own perfume, but I'm starting a collection. I have always wanted to be the girl who just had different, you know, like a collection of perfumes, a collection of bags and shoes, a lot of collections actually, <laughs> not in a hoarder way of course. And um, I started it, well Tony did for me for, for Christmas, he started off my perfume collection and I've been really loving these scents. We actually went to Saks a few days ago and I smelled another scent which by Bottega Veneta, and I am like, what? Why? What, why, and where? I love it. So I'm debating if I should get that one too, but I'm giving myself some time. <laughs> I have the sample, and um, I've been using it and really loving it. I feel like it's more of a day scent, um, more so than like a night scent if that makes sense. So I've been loving how it smells on me during the day. Tony also, they also gave Tony a unisex fragrance from Bottega Veneta and it smells so good on him. Like his pheromones just like, just sucks me. So anyway, let me show you. Let me show you guys the two that I have right now. So I have this one, which is a classic. A lot of people don't like the smell. They say it smells like old lady, but old ladies have wisdom. Like that's a good thing to me. And it actually smells good on me. Um, on the paper, it doesn't. But on me, when it settles in, my, my skin loves it. So yeah, I really love this. I actually have the sample and I've been using the sample. But yeah, I love it. I mean, look at the bottle. It's gorgeous. Look at the details. Beautiful. And of course, I have this one. One of my favorite scents is vanilla. And this is vanilla in its true form. Like it smells so good. So I definitely get the hype. I get it. When I smelled it, I was like, yep, I'm getting it. Um, so yeah, she, so yeah, I love this. I haven't even worn it yet. I want to wait for like a nice night out or something, but beautiful, beautiful scent. I'm so happy I got these. Ugh. I mean, look at them next to each other, guys. Look at them next to each other. What? Match made in heaven. <laughs> Okay, let me close up some loose ends and then let's go to Salvation Army. Um, I'm also probably gonna stop for some almond croissants because <sighs> your girl has an addiction and I don't care, it's good. So, anywho, <laughs> so let me get to this and then I'll see you guys in a few. So this is one of the pictures I found at Salvation Army. Look how gorgeous this is and fits in my entryway. So beautiful. I was originally gonna change the picture, but I really love it. Like, I feel like it really embodies what I wanted to capture in an entryway, and uh, I loved it. I removed the, so I originally had the Target one that's set up there, and um, I feel like this just looks so much better. I'm also gonna bring in an image here from the Heirloom print shop, so I think I found one, so I think I'm gonna put it here, but I have this here just to remind me. This was $2.99, this was $24.99. And I also always pick up like some really cute like decor pieces because I mean, look, it really like puts, brings together this space. And, uh, and of course, 
I'm gonna have this like what I actually want to go a little bit more wild with it and higher so I think I'm gonna add more to it but I just feel like look how that looks so it's almost done I just need a few more things to add to the space and then it'll be done and then I also got this so at first I thought this was too colorful so I wasn't gonna I was gonna change the the uh, wall art I was gonna so I was gonna change the art but then I put it up and I was like this is actually really beautiful I'm actually going to so really soon I'm going to paint this wall black and then look how it look at look what the kids does look what Sabria and her cousin does <laughs> like what and then I'm also going to add some paneling to this side as well so it's going to be really like I feel like it's going to really bring this beautiful art out so I'm going to push it a little bit and it's just going to be this art here I'm also going to have the staircase done so it'll, it will look so nice in here once everything is like complete so yeah so anyway <laughs> i wanted to show you guys that before we leave but let's go oh, i put this together yesterday and i am so in love with it this frame has so much potential my assumption is if you turn this around, it would be white. And if it's, this is so beautiful. Oh, and I feel like it's gonna go really well in my bathroom and it's really big. So, of course, let's try to visualize it without all this. But if not, I can always buy a white mat, which I feel like will look really nice. That one also is coming with me. So I'm still in the parking lot at Salvation Army. I'm actually gonna, let me just drive off because I'm like really close. Um, they keep staring. <laughs> but anyway, it was a success. I think I found the frame. Honestly, I do this a lot. Let me put on my belt. I do this a lot. I go into a store and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the frame. And then I come home and I'm like, actually, I'm gonna use this somewhere else. So Pennywise, if you live in Houston, definitely go check out a Pennywise. Their prices are really good. Um, I go there to buy like really old school books, like the really old books, like worn and torn, um, especially for my bookcase. Okay, let's put you here. Can you see me here? Uh, I don't think so. You know what? Let me just get closer. You just see half of my face. But anyway, um, at Pennywise, I like coming to Pennywise because they have really great inexpensive books so if you're looking to add like really old school kind of books to your bookcase or really any space actually they're good books too you should go to Pennywise because I think they're like 12 or a dollar I don't know if it's every day or on a select day but I remember I remember because like I would I've bought some books from like Facebook marketplace um, the bookstore and especially those old books because I'm always looking to like add like antique to my home just a little bit not too crazy and um i came to pennywise and i was like wait what excuse me and i bought like 24 books for like two dollars so it's crazy i'm gonna walk in there now so if they still have it i'll let you know but i mean they're still really inexpensive if nothing they're like 50 cents like what so yeah i'm gonna go in there now and see what i can find and yeah let's go their dish game is pretty good it's just that they don't have sets Nice. This is the clothes, but I hardly ever go to the clothes section. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Where 
heart isn't gonna grow. Alright, so I think I found a picture here, but I don't know if I'm gonna get it. I don't know if I like the wood color. It's more mahogany, and I kind of want like a either gold or like like a um, rustic type of wood color. I don't know if that makes sense. But... I don't know. We'll see. Mm. All right. I know, guys. It is dark. Before I leave, I always put on sunglasses. Before and after. Ooh, okay. Okay, don't forget the ring. I have forgotten. I have forgotten to put on my ring so many times. And I'm like freaking out. And it's literally sitting on my seat. I've actually dropped my ring on the floor. Went into the building. Didn't realize I didn't have my ring until I realized I didn't have my ring on. And ran so fast outside to see where it dropped. And it was literally outside of my door. Like, what is going on? Anyway, I know it's pretty dark right now. Let me see if I can. Terribly sorry about that. Wait, my name is Daniel. What can I get started for you today? Hi, Daniel. Do y'all have the uh, almond croissant? We're going to get an almond croissant? Yes, sir. Almond croissant, how many? Just one. One almond croissant? What else can we get for you? That is it. One almond croissant is going to be four or six. What if I lie to you and I said our food was really dry? <laughs> you need something to drink. <laughs> I would probably be like, I've had my coffee for the day, and I mean, we have passion tea that has no caffeine in it. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm like, uh. <laughs> Let me see. Actually, yeah, alright. Um, the croissant. I'm gonna warm that up for you right now. And awesome. Get in the window, okay? Thank you. I'm supposed to be trying to get back in my clothes, but not with the almond croissant, though. Nope. <laughs> what jeans oh well one pair is good enough <laughs> what shirt what bathing suit because <laughs> i'm a croissant <laughs> look body look body that's all i can say look you know <laughs> you get it delicious oh, I need to go get my croissant <laughs> I'm coming. okay okay Whew. all right got my croissant look at her mm. I'm sorry to be eating on camera, but not sorry, because <laughs> we all eat. All right, let me show you guys what I got. <laughs> mm, so, good. so, first place I went to was Salvation Army, which I already knew I was going to find things. Salvation Army is just, they have really good vintage antique stuff. So I bought these beautiful plates. I mean, no, I did not go in there to buy plates. Not at all. Not a, not for a second. But I did see these, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the, the price off. They're $1.99 each. I got four, so about eight bucks, which is a steal. Cause I have spent upwards of eight dollars on one plate. Um, of course these are kind of like special plates, so I don't know if I'm gonna use them. Probably not gonna use them every day. They're probably gonna be used when I like bake. You know, they're they're microwave safe, so they may not be like super porcelain or anything, but they're still really beautiful. And I love the blue and white decor. Not just decor items, but blue and white like porcelain items. 
glass items. I don't think this was actual porcelain, but this is probably ceramic. But anyway, anyway, it doesn't matter. It's a gorgeous piece. Let me get a little bit closer so you can see the details. Beautiful. It has flowers inside. I love flowers. Anything that has flowers like this, I like. I was going to say flowers. No, not everything that has flowers, but I love this. So beautiful. I'm, of course, going to run all these dishes through the, the dishwasher. But look at that. Four. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm. All right. What else did I get? So I, I got some pieces that I've been wanting to get, like at a regular store, but they had it here, like this. So whenever we eat pancakes or anything that needs syrup, we always warm up our syrup. We get like the actual maple syrup. So you can warm it up in the container it, it's in because it's glass. <laughs> I'm like, not all. But um, I love the idea of pouring it in here and then warming it up in this and then pouring it. I've always I've been wanting to get one of these for a while, but because it hasn't been like high priority, you know, it's like this one thing. I haven't gotten it. I didn't I never got it. Um it was $2.99 and yeah, I got it. It's white. It's very simple, nothing special about it at all. But it's literally what I've been wanting. And then I also got something really similar to that for like creamer. <clears throat> I love this look at that just really cute really simple i can pour my i can pour my creamer in here and then pour it inside my coffee or tea i love this especially when tony and i are drinking coffee or tea together um i can just display it in here rather than like carrying this big old thing i don't know it's more of a, an aesthetic thing really but i've been wanting to get one of these for a while too but again it wasn't high priority then i found it and i was like i'm getting it it was 1.99 I think I was looking at one that was like seven or eight bucks, which isn't bad at all. Oh my gosh, that tea is so good. And I don't even like tea like that, but it's so good. Um, I can't remember what brand it is. I think I showed you guys what it looks like. So good, oh my gosh. If you're a tea lover, you would love this. It's an herbal tea. I do personally put milk in my tea, like what? Is there any other way? You can't see it. <laughs> I've, I grew up drinking my tea like that, and yeah, it's good. So it's you, typically like without the milk, it would be like pink, but it's like this white. <laughs> it's white. I also got this, which is so random. This um, these bath salts. I mean, bath crystals is what they're calling it. Um, I was going to go to Target and buy me a few, and then I saw this, and I was like, oh, it's so beautiful. Like what? So yeah, it was three dollars. <laughs> what so and it hasn't been opened so i was like oh i'm just gonna get it and use it i want to take a bath tonight so i'll do that and what else did i get you ask oh i'm like what else did i get I'm trying not to touch the bread since i've been touching things so i'm gonna use my napkin mm. Mm. okay it's very difficult to talk mm. Mm. okay so I got this. I thought this would be great sitting on something. A lot of the items I said on my bookcase are pretty large. And whenever we went to Austin and we were in that home that we shot in, um, I saw that her, a lot of her like surfaces that she decorated had small items as well. So it was a, uh, it was a mixture of large and small. So <laughs> scale, scale is important. So I got this because this can sit next to maybe like a large uh, vase, I wouldn't say jar, a large vase or just something else. And yeah, I thought this was really cute. It's like marble in the bottom and it was $2.99. Literally everything that I bought at um, Salvation Army, I probably have spent that amount on one item, maybe two at CB2. I'm not saying I wouldn't shop there anymore because I will always, <laughs> but I'm just saying like perspective. So I also got this beautiful, I guess you would call it an urn. I don't know. So gorgeous. I have a tendency of buying a lot of these. These are really great. I just love how like vintage it looks. Look at that. So beautiful. This was $2.99, $2.99. And what got me was inside of it. Look how beautiful that is. It's a little dirty. I'm going to clean them all, of course. But inside of this, I was like, what? This is so beautiful. Ugh. The details, guys. Details are so important to me. Ugh. Love it. 
love it i also got this i'm so happy with this like and not because i was going to use it to serve water no or i'm going to use this as a vase i love having again just accents of antique or vintage pieces i feel like it gives your home um, character it just makes it more cozy and warm and for a long time i've always been into like homes looking really cold until i went into a home that wasn't and i was like oh my gosh this is exactly what it, what i want at, especially after it's, it was designed so anyway i don't know if that made sense at all but so i'm going to add flowers to this i might add it to my powder room i don't know yet but no can I, mm, yeah yeah maybe the powder room i, don't, I was going to think i was going to say up here but i'm not Maybe the powder room, maybe the dining room. Um, I'm sorry guys, food is falling out of my mouth. Maybe the actual dining room. This is like a kitchen, kitchenette dining room. I don't know, breakfast area. Maybe the actual dining room whenever we get that furniture. But this is just a beautiful piece. I mean, look at that. Look how old and aged this is. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. And it was only five bucks. Like what? So yeah, had to get it. Had to get it. And then I also got this. I've been loving copper in small doses. So I got this. I thought this was so beautiful. Look at the detail. Excuse me. And yesterday I got this copper like vase. So I feel like they're going to look really good together. Excuse me. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this. I'm thinking of actually adding it to my, my breakfast table or I'm going to add it to the back. So I don't know yet, but it's either it's going to go somewhere. All this stuff. All this stuff has a place, so I had to think about that, of course. All right, now the Mecca. Ooh, okay. Here she is. Okay, this is one of them. I mean, I'm saying here she is, but you can't even see it. This is her. Uh, ah, don't destroy stuff. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm going to try to put it behind me so you guys can see her. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Why is this requiring a lot of cardio? <laughs> so this so this is one of the picture frames that I fell in love with. Um, I, if you, yeah, I mentioned that in this video. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I turn this around, the yellow mat, um, see if it's white in the back. If not, I'm just gonna get a new one altogether. But I think that it's so beautiful. I think it's exactly what's needed in that powder room because it's simple. I was thinking of getting like a more, like a more detailed frame, but I think this one works. It works well. It was only $12.99, and I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> that's not bad. <laughs> um, I actually realized that this is like different wine companies in Napa Valley. I thought it was like, I don't know what I thought it was until, um, until the, uh, the guy who was helping me put it in my car. I was like, oh, that's wine. That's wine places. So she's pretty big. This is at least, yeah, 24 by 36 which is what I, which is exactly what I needed for that space. So ah, I love her. Okay. Um, I'm, tr I'm trying to show you guys. I want to show you guys what I got from um, Salvation Army first. And then there is her. Look at the detail in the frame. Like what? Um, don't care about the picture at all. This is not a theme that I will ever use. Maybe if I had like a beach house somewhere, this would be perfect. But I don't yet, <laughs> but I love the frame. I think it's so beautiful. The, um, this part is like, it's like a sage green almost with a hint of blue. It's such a beautiful frame. Um, I'm gonna figure out, I, I oh my God, scared me, <laughs> my AC. I'm not sure what I, where I'm gonna use it, but I have a whole living room that I need to design and I have a whole laundry room that I need to design and I have a whole bedroom I need to design. So. There's, this is going to be used. I just thought it was so pretty and I had to snag it. It was $16.99. Um, yeah, $16.99, which is pretty good. Again, I was going to spend hundreds of dollars on frames. So to get it for $16.99 is really good. And maybe my favorite of them all, at least the picture, because I think I'm going to keep it, is this one. Ah, oh, look at this. Ah, oh, she is everything. So. What I don't like about her though is the color. I don't know, I'm in between. I like the color, it's mahogany, I love it. Oh, I like it, I like it. And then, I don't. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. I feel like it really, I don't know if it gives me what I need for this space. 
but then when I look at it compared to the others, I'm like, oh, actually it is. It does. Actually it does. So, but I, I, I think I'm going to keep this. I think that's so beautiful. It has like some sage green in it. It has greenery, it has trees. I am obsessed with trees. So I feel like it's going to give me what I need in this living room. Um, my goal is to have her sit above this couch to my left. I've been looking for art for this couch and I have yet to find it. So I feel like this is gonna be a great addition. Um, I really, look how beautiful it is. This is a pretty work of art. It was eight bucks at Pennywise. So this is Pennywise. This is the only thing I got at Pennywise. And I actually went up to the, to the uh, lady who works there and I was like, what does it say? Cause I couldn't really tell what the price said. And she was like, oh, that's $10. I was like, okay. And she's like, I'll give it to you for eight. I was like, um, okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I was gonna buy it anyway. So I took it, of course, but um, but yeah, that's the only thing I found at Pennywise. That's the thing about Pennywise. Like, they have a lot of great stuff. Um, there was one table that I really wanted to get, but I was like, I don't have a place for it yet, so I didn't get it. They have things there, you just have to really go through it. I usually walk out with one or two things. If I'm in there to buy books, of course, 12 bucks for a dollar, like what? You can get you a lot of beautiful old books. Like I have, I don't know if you can tell, like, up here i have a few here all the way on top you can't see it but the books that sit in my entryway i think two of them were purchased from facebook marketplace for about 13 dollars and um 13 dollars or 20 dollars i don't know but it wasn't a dollar <laughs> so definitely check out pennywise for books honestly you can go to any thrift store for books and they will be you'll get them for a great price so Anywho, that is it. I am going to finish my croissant and tea, and then I'm gonna go upstairs and do some work. <laughs> and then I'll come back and show you guys my powder room. So yeah, I'll see you, I guess, in the next clip. Look how empty it is over there. <laughs> Hopefully this year it gets done. Ooh, look at that girl. Mm. So before I end this video, I wanna show you guys what the powder room looks like. <sighs> So it's about 80% done. I just need to add the finishing touches, which is why today I went out and did what I did. So hopefully in about two weeks, because I have to order what's gonna go inside of it. Ugh, now I'm thinking like, oh, it's gonna be pricey. But <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can find something maybe local. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like so you can understand the vibe. So let's go. So here she is. I know flowers, flowers everywhere. I fell in love with this wallpaper when I saw it for the first time. And if you don't know, I love flowers, as you can see. <laughs> so yeah, this is what she looks like. So this is an added piece. So my bathroom was completely different. And whenever I do an actual tour, I'll show you guys um, the before. But this is a new piece and a lot of this stuff is new. My goal is to add wall art to this wall. Um, this is really the wall that isn't touched. So I feel like adding something here will break down all the flowers and the busyness and kind of just bring coziness to the space which is a goal I love a cozy space especially the bathroom like a lot of people don't consider their bathroom when they design or decorate and I'm someone who heavily considers the bathroom because I feel like it should be a place where you like really enjoy it but anyway this is where I wanted to go you see how that like this it's like a bronze color look how oh, so gorgeous that will look that will look so good in here and i feel like the bronze kind of goes with some of these elements but that is all i'm going to show you guys Ooh, i'm trying to get light here let's find the, let's put on the light bam <laughs> so hopefully whenever i do show you guys the um reveal when it's done i'll show you guys um more details you know oh hopefully this year that's it. I guess I'll leave you guys here. So hopefully you like this video. This is kind of how I want my vlogs to go. Kind of showcase like all the renovations I'm doing in my home. More so cosmetic changes. And basically showcase things that I love. So anywho, oh, I love this. I th so I think I'm gonna add the, the flower sketch picture. I was gonna say painting picture here. I feel like that's gonna look nice as it brings in like the gray and the like the very like um, simple tones, I guess, if you will. But anywho, anywho, let me let you guys go. I got a few things to do. Let me go do that now. And I'm trying to find a light. Bye, um, I'll see you soon. <laughs>